Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to add drop-down boxes to cells. There's a few reasons why you want to do this. One, to streamline data entry. Rather than have someone have to type out a whole bunch of characters, they could just click on an arrow and choose the one that they want. It will also help reduce errors. Obviously, someone can still make the wrong selection, but at least you can eliminate typographical errors because they didn't say uh, they if they're meanly typing in a value they could transpose two characters that kind of thing and so if you do uh, if you're doing like say a search and replace those typos won't be caught so there's a few reasons why you'd want to do this so how do we add a drop down box to a cell well, let's first, let's just widen the cell so we have a little bit of room to play with. And I did that just by pointing at the lines separating the columns. Click and drag. Now, of all places that uh, they would put this, they put it actually in the data tab. And it's because it's considered data validation, which kind of makes sense because you're controlling, you're constraining, you're setting up parameters for what data can be entered into that field that you don't want it to be free form and there's two basic ways that you can do this so select what you want we're going to use the entire column column a and want to go to data and we're going to go to data validation click on the drop down arrow and choose data validation this is where you're going to put in the criteria you take allow and you go to list so not quite what you would maybe think. It's not just an option that says add drop down box. You go into data validation and then you're choosing a list. Now what you can do is in the source col uh, excuse me in the source field here, you can do one of two things. You can actually merely enter the values, or you can select values. You can select a range, I should say, from a tab in the spreadsheet. So there's reasons why you would uh, want to do one or the other. By typing the values right here, you're kind of hiding away the list. That way people can't accidentally change it. But it also makes it a little bit harder to come in and fix uh, if you need to quickly. Whereas if you have a range and it's on another tab, a person could just go in and add the values and you're all set. But again, uh, if you've put the data, um, the values in another tab, say someone deletes the tab, now you don't have your source anymore. Or someone goes in there and makes a mistake and they didn't mean to, and they don't understand the way the functionality works. So uh, neither way is specifically right or wrong. It all depends, um, I guess, on the end users. So we'll look at the first version where you're just going to manually type in the names. So maybe it's the names of um, who is taking the ticket. So say we have J Valentine. And now you don't use semicolons, you just use a comma. So in, sometimes when you're separating values in um, Office products, you use a semicolon like uh, email recipients. Well, you don't use a semicolon, you use a comma. So... J. Valentine, uh, C. Redfield, and say A. Wesker. And then you click on OK. Now, if you click away, it doesn't look like there's anything there, anything special, but as soon as you click on it, you get that drop down arrow, and there's your choices. So now you've said that this is all you can put in here. So, pretty straightforward. So the second version would be to put those values into a separate tab. So click on the plus sign down here to add a tab. And we'll just put those in here. So All right, so we'll come back to this tab and we will delete this since we don't need it now. And we'll do the same process. Data validation, data validation, allow, 
list. And this time for source, click on the tab. Oops, sorry, got to click in source. Click on the tab and just highlight the relevant fields and click on OK. So it brought us back here. Again, it doesn't look like anything special until you click on it. When you click on it, there's your names. So as I said, it, it it's either way gives you the same result. It's just a matter of do you want this source to be available to your end users? So that's a purely a, a decision you'd need to make. Is there a reason why this might have to change a lot? Is, is there a reason why you'd want to hide it away? So again, I can't tell you what the right decision is. I'm just showing you that those are the two ways in order to add a drop-down box to a, uh, a cell. And that should do it for this lesson. Just let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see.